Hey guys, tonight I was going to do a little talk on composition. Uh, mainly, we're talking about the center of interest. Uh, the center of interest needs to have all the goodies. Um, so, your center, you, well, first of all, you can't have more than one center of interest. There needs to be only one. Um, if you have two, it becomes like a like a tennis game. You start looking at one direction, look at the other direction, look, you know. So it's just it's a weird tension between the eyes where it, it can't stop looking between one to the other. You need one real focal point. Um, and the kind of interesting thing about paintings too, it's like it's not linear like a movie. Um, it's like we see the ending right away, you know, like it's kind of like we flip to the back of the book and read the ending and then we work way backwards. So, you know, you see a painting and you see how, what the painting's about, and then you'll, some paintings you'll see like what led up to that, to that, to that ending. So the few points on the center of interest is um, it needs to, it needs to be in the best location on the painting. And so um, I'm sure you guys know what thirds are. So if you were to split your canvas up into thirds, usually the best locations is kind of where the nexus points are. But you kind of want it sort of dominating in the center, so you're so you have no doubt that that's what the painting is about. So you have no doubt that that's what the painting is about. So you have no doubt that that's what the painting is about. Your center of interest can be anything, but it needs to be in the best location, and then also it needs to have the best colors. Um, so you know it has to have. So the colors need to be either intense, uh, need to be very beautiful, they need to be set off by the background. If you're working on a painting and you introduce a new color into the painting, it better be in the center of interest. You need that color also in the center of interest. If there's going to be any unique colors happening in the painting, it needs to be in the center. It has to be the center of interest, has to have that unique color. So the third point is it has to have the best light on it. It has to have the best lighting, so it needs the best contrast between darks and lights. You want the lighting to be pretty dynamic on the painting. When you set up a, a center of interest, you don't want it completely shadowed in the dark. It needs to kind of, has to have that smash of light, it needs to project forward. And our fourth point is it needs to have the most interesting shape. So for instance, if you had a painting um, with a human in it and also flowers in it, the human's gonna win every single time because the human has the most interesting shape to it. And because we're humans, we look at the humans first anyway. So, so if you keep those points in mind, then nobody will ever have a doubt what the painting's about that rhymes. And that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Another blooper for you guys. So those were our four points with the center of interest. Uh, if you keep them in mind while you're composing something, while you're setting up a painting, um, you know, it should make things run a lot smoother. Um, the painting will probably be more successful because you're not you're not detracting uh, your subject matter from the background uh, or any other elements that are. That's All right, guys. Well, there's another short video for you. Um, if you guys can think of any other points that I should have mentioned with the center of interest, please write them down. Comment, please, on right on the bottom. Also, another thing, um, I don't have cable TV anymore, so all I do is watch YouTube. And there are some great art teachers on YouTube. There's also some total hacks. But the real good ones, I usually try to comment on it, you know, so that way it'll show up in my news feed. But uh, if you guys can do me a favor and just, like, give me suggestions, like other, uh, other painters I should look at, some other teachers I should look at, that would be so cool. Um, so, yeah, please, I mean, the more comments I get. Also, if you guys... If you want me to critique anything or you just want to show me your work um, and you do a video response, that's so cool. I have my, I have my page open, so uh, you can just put a video response in there and I, I don't need to approve it. Just It'll just pop up right on there. And so, I mean, if you guys haven't done this already, please subscribe. Um, if you don't know how to subscribe, it's probably because you don't have a YouTube account. So make a YouTube account and then subscribe. Uh, also, a thumbs up, which would be really cool. I appreciate those a lot. Uh, spread the news, tell a friend. Oh, uh, hey, here's something else. Look at this. Curtains. I bought some curtains for my studio. I don't have my walls up yet still. Those contractors are taking their sweet time. But I bought myself some nifty red curtains. Curtains are very important for artist studio spaces. You need to control your shadows. You need to control your lighting. So 
got some curtains. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys are all the best. Um, thank you for your support. It's been great making videos for you guys. Uh, you guys are the best, and of course you deserve it. <laughs> I'm such a dork. But anyway, um, yeah, so I guess we're... <laughs> I am like super overly tired and I'm kind of weird right now. So I'm going to just wrap it up. So, sayonara. All right. Bye-bye.